Hi guys, today I thought I'd do another solve video and basically I had a whole bunch of new 3x3s some you've probably seen before, some you may not have um, and I thought I'd just do a collective solve time video and I will do uh, laps on the stopwatch to find out how long each one took obviously there's different varying qualities and colours but overall um, it might give a decent average time some of the cubes you may not have seen um, actually I'll just go through them quickly this is a Guhong 2 uh, white this is a V cube 3 which I have slightly modded and taken off the green stickers because some of you may not know I'm actually colour blind so sometimes the green and orange can be quite close for me uh, this is just couple of generic ones, that one's missing the orange cap, an orange mini generic one, uh, that is very similar to that but in orange, uh, this is a YJ white which I think I had before, this is the black version, a uh, mini Dian Sheng there, uh, my Dian Zanshi and this I believe is a Sheng N with the caps missing. So I may get the Voyage Cube parody, and if I do, I'll just move on. To be honest. Um, this is... I don't know the make, but... Actually, it lights up on your soul. You might not be able to see it lighting up, but... Anyway, there's 12 cubes, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm going to do them in order of size, so I'll start with the minis, I'll end with the better quality ones I think, so, I don't know if you'll be able to see them all at the back, but if you can't, then they'll probably just go out of shot. Okay, so they're ready to go, I'll start the timer. I won't do an inspection because it's not going to be a great valued time. So, three, two, one, and go. Probably be quite boring to watch, but if you want to see the differences in how some cubes solve, then it's probably be the best place. I haven't got a great range of cubes, but. Um, it shouldn't, it shouldn't give a too bad an indication. Ah, I always misread that one. Of the colour blindness I mentioned earlier. Okay, that's one, that was 56 seconds. Wow, that was slow. I think trying to talk as well is going to slow me down, but no point making excuses. and try a bit harder on the ones on the end but for now let's just go through them this cube seems to pop quite a lot compared to the others so I'm trying to be careful as to not pop it otherwise I'll probably lose more time wow recognition is taking a hit here a minute 15. Wow. Now let's try this one. Uh, right. That's 
that red, white, blue. Yeah. Now, that's two in. Now this court, I expected this queue to be better than it is. Actually, it's got quite good reviews, but it's very clicky. So, yep, and we got the void queue parity. So, I'm just going to move that on because I, I do not know that. I'll look it up after the. It would have been about 50 seconds. That's the orange cap. eBay, it was relatively cheap, a couple of quid, that's why I got it, but it actually moves quite well to be honest, much better than I expected. There's very little corner cutting but it's a good cube, that's better, that was 35 seconds. This one is very similar, as I said earlier. As you can see it locks up a bit, but for the price, I'm not going to complain. Um, now the one PLL I always forget, so I'm doing two stages. Thirty-nine. Now, this cube came very lewd, but it also doesn't turn very well. And in all honesty, the novelty of the light is actually more annoying, <laughs> especially when actually trying to solve it. But and it doesn't make it any easier to solve in the dark either, or even close to it, because it just flashes and decides when to stop. I'll probably keep flashing the background. Oh no, it stopped. Again, these times are going to be a bit higher than average because there's no inspection and a few seconds of me lapping the time, etc. Well, mess this one up. Very tight cube, this, but again, not too bad quality for the price. This one actually moves quite a lot different to the others. Wow, I got that PLL again. Got 45 for that one. up my G-perms. I don't know if you've noticed. It usually ends up in me doing an extra one. That was about 45. This is black on bottom as it's a white cube. Some do, some don't. Firstly, I don't mind it being black on bottom. I still do yellow on top and that's what makes the difference.
about 45 as well, down to the V3, which hasn't been used in a while, so it's a bit, a bit tight. Okay, that was a bit less than 35. Let's see if I can get under 30. Okay, and let's go on this one. Okay, about 35 again. Now I'll try and do a good last one for this one. Yeah, 29. That's better. An overall time of 9.25. Well, uh, it was pretty shocking times to be honest, but overall it was quite good to see the difference in the cubes. And I might do this again after a while. I'll probably do some more average of 12s or average of 5s with some of my better cubes. One thing this does do is make you realize how nice your better cubes are. Because when you use the worse, more cheap ones, you will see the difference quite a lot. Um, yeah, so 12 cubes, well, take off the, the one for the void cube parity there in nine and a half minutes. So okay time without inspection that. I'll probably do this again, see if I can beat that time. Alright, have a good day and happy cubing.